Hi, how are you? This is Ching. We are going to go into next week practice with the Qigong. Okay, so last week, the last video we put out is basic warm up for Qigong. Today, we're going to talk about the more focused warm up for Qigong. So, what is that? That's how to create a spiral movement with your breath, spine, and the arm. So we put it all together, of course, support by the leg and uh, Mother Earth, right? So, focus, warm up for Qigong practice. Um, there are lots of things come together since we already know one step at a time, so things get a little easier. Why we want to talk the focus Qigong warm up? With a spiral. <clears throat> if you lower back, the tightest area of your spine is this lumbar, right? Because it's weight bearing. You have, a, you have your head, your shoulder, all this weight, rib cage go into Mother Earth. But if you have a good posture, remember we call the five checkpoint. So, quick review five checkpoint your feet and the knee neutral, not hyperextend, not bent, and the pelvis neutral. Find the first responder. So you loosen up the lower back a little bit, rib cage neutral, right? Finding the upper arrow and the arm scapula neutral, your middle finger lined up, your head suspend far above. So that's the five checkpoint, okay? The five checkpoint you can bring into horse stance, right? As soon as you bend your knee or you're sitting and with a good posture. So your spine also upright. Gradually, you get better. You don't. You will not think it's a, it's what hard because it's part of you now. Okay, so you have a good posture. So we're gonna do this first. Okay, so really can understand how tight your lumbar area is. Right, lumbar have five big lum, uh, vertebrae. So I'm gonna give you a thumb like this. Okay, so you know, I grow up and the Japanese will say ichiban. Right, so there's some restaurant called ichiban, and we call ding hao number one okay so you got you have a knuckle here okay that's gonna be against all your finger is against your sacrum see that triangle bone and the thumb will touch the lumbar area you can feel a nice curve right so i'm just gonna bend my knee a little bit can you see i i dorsal flex the ankle bend knee flex the hip my body straight so i'm not going to this oh my god makes much tighter so no more, right? So I bend my knee. Soon as I do that, I can feel my lumbar is what? Open up a little because what? The muscle here is stretch out. So now here, muscle tightening. If you don't have your first responder, it's actually make even tighter. So what happened? You know the answer now, right? It's the first responder. The first responder is your transverse abdominal. You hear me say that all the time. Transverse abdominal is one of the three musketeers. So who, who, where is the other two? Your inner thigh, pelvic floor, and transverse. That's your three musketeer. They are working together to keep your pelvic neutral. If you can do that, you don't need to do sit-ups anymore because what? <laughs> it's with you the whole time, right? And it's like 100 sit-ups, and it's so boring. Who likes to count to 100, right? Especially not the little kid. <clears throat> and then from here. And bend your knees. So we're going to start learning your body how to make it. So I already open. Now if I use the three muscles here to recruit the lower arrow. So it's called in Pilates, we call it imprinting. Or simply in anatomy, we call it flexion. And it's actually, truly, it's called a pelvic tilt. So I'm tilting my pelvis, my air size is behind my pubic bone. So that's called a posterior tilt. Posterior tilt is sometimes kind of like you're sitting on the couch. But you don't want to be there for a long time because that's a prolonged position now. So that's your body's not moving, not moving, it's not good. Moving too much, it's no good. So we, are, we like to be extreme. Don't move, sedentary, and work, 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 like I'm working for somebody else. No, just work for yourself. So from here, and this posterior tilt, but I'm using the right muscle. So I release my lumbar tension even more. 
So of course, if you have posted to it, what you have? Anterior tilt. So I stick my tush up, but I have to keep my knee flex the hip bend. So my, this socket is free. So this is called the anterior tilt. My ASI is in front of my pubic bone line, okay? So it's really good to move this way. Because what? We're using the right muscle. We're using the thoracic lumbar epineurosis. And so posterior tilt, anterior tilt. So that's the two basic movements in the sagittal plane, okay? There's another frontal plane movement, which is what? I'm gonna use the obliques now, right? So all this muscle around you, mid-session, they're so important because they tend to get out of shape. And um, then we don't feel good, right? So now I'm gonna use the oblique on the right side, internal and external, bring the ASI, which is the anterior superior iliac spine. If you put your hands here, you can feel that round portion of the ilium in your pelvic, pelvic bone right here. So you're gonna bring this, you can put this like this too. You can feel I'm using that muscle, bring that ilium up to my rib cage, but my upper body's not moving. So I'm stabilizing. So that's really nice oblique exercise. Now I'm open the side of the lumbar, open left side of the lumbar, and open, so my lumbar has what? flexion, extension, but we call tilt. And also this one, we also call tilt, we call the lateral tilt. We're tilting to side and side. So a lot of, you know, special South American, there's a lot of other country, they dance in special nice pelvic movements, so beautiful because what? If you do it right, if you don't do it right, you actually, remember I said the number is not good, the, the quantity is not good. If you do it wrong, you really wear off the SI joint. So you have to move the muscle. Do not move the bone. Bone move because muscle move the bone, okay? So here we go. We're gonna put those four tilts together first to release the tension of your lumbar. Then you can bring the energy up all the way up to the thoracic and your cervical, then become a spiral, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> Horse stance, bend your knee, flex ankle, ankle, knee, hip, flexed. I'm turning a little bit, okay, right here. So you ready? I put, remember, number one, put here, thumbs on top, right hand, I mean left hand, right at the lower, so I can feel my transverse abdominal initiate. So that's your first responder. First responder, have to listen the messenger from the, you know, headquarters. The headquarters is your brain. So your brains control everything. That's why it's mind-body connection with the breath. Okay, so I'm just doing the movement first. You can see I anterior toe, lateral toe, posterior toe, lateral toe, anterior toe. So I'm gonna do a circle with those four toe. So I'm connecting all that. The most important part something we don't normally think about is actually your feet. Okay, it's connect to the Mother Earth. Right now is the floor. So I'm not gonna drop my arch because I wanna protect my knee. So I'm not going in. I wanna isolate. So this is stabilization. It, we actually call it rooting. So when I'm moving the pelvis, see I'm creating a what? A whirlpool. Can you see that? So if I allow the whirlpool goes down, root it into the floor, that's a spiral into the floor. If I allow this whirlpool, the cir circular movement going up, so I got spiral down and spiral up. A circle has an end, right? You draw a circle end, but you draw a spiral, there's no end, so become infinity. That's the power of movement and us, we call it energy. You're feeling the energy, you don't lock the energy. And most popular exercise, lock the joint, lock the muscle, lock because I don't know why. Okay, so from here, <clears throat> I know why, but I'm not gonna talk about it. So ready, I'm gonna come in, adding the breath now. Inhale, you're coming forward to post your tail. Exhale, root it down more to release the other half. So the first half circle is actually from the back to the right to the front. The other half 
is from the front left to the back we're using the reverse abdominal breathing so inhale tummy in open the mimen open the lumbar the mimen is the actual pressure point the acupuncture needle goes hollow your tummy so you can do this without a needle if you're afraid of a needle you just do exercise qigong or tai chi tran so inhale i love to use the qigong to prepare you before you do tai chi tran or tai chi sword tai chi ball all kinds of tai chi practice so comes in open the lumbar tummy waiting this is inhale exhale root it down if you, if you really really can quiet your mind you already feel the spiral going up through the spine inhale and exhale feeling the energy inhale which is the biofeedback the feedback of this movement you want to feel the right feedback of this movement okay ready very last one anterior two lateral two posterior two is on the inhale exhale you root it down a little more just like the tree so you can grow taller and the leaf can flow in the air so now making the circle smaller and smaller and smaller until you return on one single point we we'll call that wu ji position wu ji is mean no extremity right you just stay beginning of everything so ready i'm switch hands now tummy and the back so i can feel my pelvis moving inhale posterior tilt exhale lateral tilt and anterior tilt inhale coming forward we are opening the lumbar five lumbar vertebrae so opening up that nice tight energy otherwise your spine cannot move properly inhale gently right gently and we want to move the spine why cerebral spinal fluid is a fluid inside deep 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 in the spine spine tap and goes inhale that's where the fountain of youth reside right again inhale comes in hollow tummy inhale inhale exhale ready spiral down the energy you have an energy spiral up one last one inhale and exhale now we're making the circle smaller and smaller until no more movement and the wuji position nice and tall that is such a beautiful movement but i know if you do this out in the park people will think you wear unless you're in taiwan or china that people see that all the time <laughs> so it's not weird if you don't run you're weird right but running is not good it's hip knee replace especially if you don't know how to run and it's boring i'm sorry and um, that's just my opinion right you don't have to agree with me but i do run i do very short i do i do running i don't jog and go it's like it's like an animal is chasing me i have a big deep bear and a coyote fox in my yard so it's like bears chasing me so i'm really running stop and really running so it's a different thing i am running for the cardio but i don't want to run for 10 miles because i want to preserve my joint okay so stop talking about that so now you warm up the lumbar we're going to lead the energy all the way up to your cervical and let the energy flows out so don't don't do too much okay so here go my hands and the you know the um dantian lower dantian that where the battery is we talk about that already right and the middle dantian okay around your uh, diaphragm above so it's like your lung your heart okay the diaphragm is really important so it really we just kind of say that is a what piston it's a pump right that's a dantian too dantian is like a pump you massage internal organs stomach liver all this stuff and and, and kidney and massage the heart above so this diaphragm you can just think in that it's pumping up the whole middle dantian okay 
somebody have to initiate, right? So some part of your body have to initiate. And then the third, um, the upper dentin, you should throw out that's pituitary and pineal gland. Um, um, pituitary is actually the master gland for to take care of all, right? Somebody had to leave. Okay, so you ready? We're gonna moving up now. So I start anterior two. I'm getting ready. Just like I'm gonna throw the ball. I'm pulling back first. I throw my right? bowling ball. I start. I can start from back and throw. Otherwise, I have no. I'm not creating the the movement, right? So it's preparation. You got it. Okay, here we go. You bend your knee. I stick my two shots. So anterior two. I'm gonna hollow my tummy, inner thigh, pelvic floor, first responder, I'm opening the minmen, and between L2 and 3, and release. So now, I'm gonna lead that energy all the way up to my thoracic spine, to my cervical spine, so I have a C curve, which is flexion forward. I'm gonna release my pelvic floor, I'm gonna root the energy, spiral down, all the way, then I get to I'm bending back, so we'll call it extension. But the arms, you're gonna feel every single vertebrae. Remember, muscle moving the bone. So if I feel every single vertebrae moving, that's mean my muscle is coming to work. Lower arrow, upper arrow. And erect is spinning along the spine and the two V's in the back. Inhale. And the exhale. So this is a really focused warm up for the qigong, because you have to move the spine. I'm sorry, you want to move the spine, right? Who want to stay stiff? We want to appreciate this body. So you have 24 articulate vertebrae plus five on the sacrum. They're fused together, and then the coxie, don't worry about that. The energy will travel through them, okay? But you want to focus on that 24 articulatory by using the muscle in the front, muscle along the whole spine, okay? So this is the last one. Inhale. I'm talking to the whole spine. Now ready? I'm going to add in my arm. Elbow forward, pelvis forward, pelvis down, elbow down. Right, pelvic into it. So going back, your tailbone going back, your elbows going back. And coming up, so you're making the same circle. And the inhale, coming forward, no scapula. I'm warming up the joint. <laughs> so I need to, I can get to this beautiful rotation movement so I can use my whole arm. And now I release my elbow, my wrist, my finger. So now you immediately rotate, there's no scapula movement. You laterally rotate in the shoulder joints. So oh, getting harder now. And lots of things coming. So spine, breast, and the shoulder joint movement. So as you medial rotate, you can feel the energy floats up, so your palm will down. You laterally rotate, the energy spirals, so you can see the palms up. Inhale again without the scapula. And the shoulder, right, because stabilize your shoulder. And inhale, comes in. And exhale, return. So now, what I'm doing is both on the same time. It's a little easy, so we create what? We create wave and spiral. This is spiral movement and the wave of the spine. And you, you understand the wave of spine is the initiation of the spiral. It's already happened. Okay, here comes the trick. One side. So I'm pushing the right leg, arch is lifted. I rotate my pelvis. So I'm pushing, I rotate my pelvis. I'm not dropping my knee, okay? That's, you want to protect, right? So I'm going to contract. I'm rotating. So everything on the right side, right leg going down, pelvis rotate. External obliques on the right side rotate. So every part of your body speak the same. Now I push this side, I rotate my pelvis, softly I release, I'm into the extension. So inhale, I want you to do this movement nice and soft, focus on the spine. So I'm using the Mother Earth, I'm using my body and the breath to create this beautiful spiral but focus on the center. 
in the spine. So this is the true internal movement. Inhale, tummy in. And exhale, laterally rotate, palms out. I'm not initiating the movement from the arm, initiating the movement from my leg, through the pelvis, manifesting out to the arm. I guess what? At the other side. So I'm pushing this leg now. See, I didn't drop my knee. I'm pushing the arches for lift, feel the inner thigh, pelvic floor, first responder, and the arrow, lower arrow, and release. A little more weight on this side. Push from the left, rotate the body, rotate your spine, right? So from the left leg, pelvic rotate to the right, so everything go to right now. The left external rotate you to the right and release. Okay, it's, it's not rocket science, but it sounds like one, right? Feel like you're flying the airplane solo. Inhale. You don't want to fly. This is your airplane. Get to know all the instruments you have. Oh, it's unbelievable. And the inhale, last one here, and exhale. So that's more internal. I'm get to the, okay, external a little more. So grand circulation. So that's more internal circulation. Once I have it, I'm reaching, I'm expand my energy to the nature. So grander. And I bring the nature energy with initiate from me. Harmonize together and I will expand. Right? Inhale. This is your inner power. Your inner power goes up, it's pure and strong. Inhale. Because why? You get to know yourself first. So the inner power is not pissed off. Pissed off is no inner power. It's, it's emotion. It's, it's poison, right? We don't want that. And goes out. Inhale comes in. And exhale goes out. We have so many scents, right? And people, Martin Luther King, right? And uh, just many, I'm sorry, and goes out, change side, and Jesus, right? So all these people in the history, you hear their name over, over, right? Why? They understand the inner power. I was just, I just listened to the um, a beautiful conference last night from Lisa Nicholas. She just she. She make us all listen to, right? Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream. And how amazing in how that inner power, inner strength comes in, in how. That's what I'm telling you. You're going to build all that through the movement, right? Breath, nutrition, and movement. So you own this body. You become mature. Remember that? And you have a much greater understanding. And goes out. Last one. Inhale. So I'm spiral. You can see my knee never drop. Okay. Comes in. And release down. Bend your knee. Bring your one leg in or the other one, either one. You take a couple steps. It's, it's actually, if you just start beginning, if your quadriceps killing you, you're fine. <laughs> it's what's gonna happen, like everything else, right? You know, when you when you <laughs> when you start learning a new recipe, your kitchen look like a mess, right? <laughs> it's okay because gradually the systems come in. You say, okay, I can do this, and so everything done, done, done. And in between, I wash a couple of dishes and then do the next steps. You know, so you have a system and what a flow goes into it. So if your quarters are really, really screaming at you, just stand up. Because you're strengthening then just by standing here. <laughs> right? Not from running. You know, you don't even get that from running. So it's really important. We're strengthening the muscle. We have a beautiful posture. We're going to understand the internal organ. We have so much to learn and should be what? A privilege. Education is a privilege. If you close that door, you, you're the one to blame. I'm so sorry, but that's the truth. Truth is not fun. 
and I share this quick story and I'll share with you and then we're done. And because uh, I'm still studying a lot, right? So there's a, there's a saying and from the book from Stephen and uh, what's his last name? I'm so sorry, Stephen. You wrote a book. I know the book title. Don't take yes for answer. Okay. Inside he's talk about crew to be kind. So telling the truth, only your good friend and your parents will tell you the truth and other friends will prep you up, make you feel good, but that's not the truth, right? So crew to be true is actually from Shakespeare, right? Hamlet. And the, for Chinese, we have a nice story in the Orient. So this young, okay, martial artist or samurai, and uh, he's been practiced with his master and he saw he's doing very well, right? Then he really respect his master too. So he came to master, he says, master, master, I have a question for you. Okay, master say, okay, what's the question? He said, since you the master, you probably know so much and you know, older too, and so older and wise. So can you tell me what's heaven and earth? You probably hear this story before. What's heaven and earth? But we all know, we don't ask questions like that because who knows, right? Nobody knows. It's, it's, it's a what? An image and tell you divides them good and bad. So the master looked at him and said, how can I teach this young lad? I always so like want to know everything and not but not, you know, internalize things. So he starts saying, listen, young person, right? Listen, you always come to practice late and the way you not tidy up, your attitude is not right when you're learning things. When you practice, you kind of wish too much anger, all this stuff. So he's telling this young man, the young samurai or the young martial artist, all this horrible stuff, which is truth. This young man was so mad. He listened, listened. He goes, okay, old man, today is your last day. He tried to draw the sword. And the master says, that's hell. And he said, oh, oh my God, all the things I have learned, I lose my cool right away and I want to kill somebody right away and my master. So he was so, so wake up, right? He said, bowed right down, said, sorry, master, sorry, master. I foolish me. I'm, I can't believe I react that quickly, right? In such an evil way. The master says, that's heaven. Isn't that cool? Okay, don't react too fast. Think about it. Because the first thing is don't hurt yourself. Don't get those poison stuff hurting yourself from the words, from da 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 da. It is important how you talk to other people. Other people talk to you. Don't don't absorb the poison, right? Don't absorb the negativity. That negativity turn you around. That's what we're supposed to use. Oh, he's telling me the truth. Oh my goodness. Okay, lots of stories, but that's one. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. So today you learn focused warm up for Qigong. Spiral movement, right? How to create spiral movement with your breath, spine, and the arms. Thank you.